In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable PayPal payments on your WooCommerce website. So the first thing you have to do is you have to log into your WordPress website. I'm at the dashboard right now, and then you want to go to WooCommerce. Uh, and when you go to WooCommerce, you have to go to the following tab, uh, that is uh, settings. And then you want to go to the payments set tab over here. So hit payments. And if you want to enable PayPal payments, you have to uh, press uh, this button that will enable PayPal. So, so this button will allow PayPal to receive uh, payments on your website. So then hit save changes and uh, go to manage over here, hit manage. And here, uh, this is where you can uh, edit all the PayPal options on your website. So the first thing you want to do, you want to go to paypal.com. And you want to make sure you have a business account. You can only enable PayPal payments with a business account. So if you only have a personal account, you can't receive payments. So uh, when you log in, this is how it looks on the business page. I'm at the summary page right now. As you can see, I only have uh, 62 cents on my account, but that doesn't really matter. So now you want to go to the uh, gear icon up here to the settings hit account settings and here are all different kind of options for your uh, payments so then go to um, website payments over here go to website payments and then go to uh, api access over here for me it's in dutch but this this means api access hit update and this is where it gets a little bit confusing so you want to scroll down and uh you want to use uh, this uh, API classic option You do for, for uh, WooCommerce. You don't want to use this one. You don't want to use this one. You want to use the API references. Uh, so hit uh, API references uh, over here, this button, and this will redirect you to the API keys. Um, you can hit next. Now you can get your API keys and paste them into your WooCommerce website over here. Down here uh, at API credentials, uh, let live API username, live API password, and live API signature. I'm not going to show it because this is private info. Don't share this with anyone. You only have to uh, use it for your website and don't. Uh, no one has to see it. So when you hit next, just copy all the uh, API keys uh, over here. So I'm going to do this very quick, but you don't see these keys because they are private. When you paste all the API keys down here, you want to go to uh, pay PayPal again, and you want to go back to the um, settings of your PayPal account. Then go to uh, website payments again, and you want to go to website payments over here, and then want, want to go to instant payment notifications. So uh, if you want to set up your instant payment notifications on PayPal, you have to hit update and then you have to uh, change this link. I'm going to edit the settings and you have to you use this link. I'm going to uh, show you uh, what link this is. It is this link with uh, WC API uh, PayPal getaway. So I'm going to put this link into the description and then you want to change your domain to uh, actually your domain. So I'm going to change it to my domain testing how to.com hit save and now um, instant payment notifications is installed. So then you can go back to settings to your account settings and you can go to uh, website uh, payments again, go to um, Go to a website preferences over here. You want to update this as well. And here you can uh, read the auto read. Like when you place an order on a website with PayPal, uh, you get redirected to the page again. So that's what this uh, will do. So I I also put this link down in the description. description. It's uh, uh, this your domain uh, slash checkout slash order received. And then make sure again that it, this is your website testing how to.com slash checkout slash order received uh, I'll put this link into in the description so you can use it as well then hit save and now you have now you enabled auto return on your PayPal website when you scroll down here is the identity 
uh, code for PayPal, you have to copy this. Also make sure nobody sees this as well. Then you can go back to your WooCommerce website uh, when, when you copy this. Then uh, go back and put it down here on the PayPal identity token tab. I still have to change my receiver email uh, address for my PayPal account, which is Carl. this one. Uh, make sure you're using the right email address uh, on here that is using uh, here on PayPal. And you can also change the title and the, let me change this email address uh, as well. You can change the title as, uh, for example, PayMall, PayPal Payments, but this is all right. Uh, you don't want to enable Sandbox and you also want to make sure that you're using Capture and not authorize. You always, always want to use Capture. So when you go to your website, I, I go to my website right now. Uh, hit save changes first, that's very important. Hit save changes, then go to your website, testing how to.com, and then you can see what this will do. So, for example, if you go to uh, your store, go to a random uh, project, so I'm doing this one, add to cart, a uh, few cart, and then you can proceed check out. As you can see, you can use PayPal payments over here. So as you can see, the text down here, pay with PayPal, you can pay with your credit card if you don't have a PayPal account. That's the text that is down here. So if this video helped you out to add PayPal payments to your WordPress website, please leave a like, please subscribe, and see you next time. Bye. Bye.